like archery or other sports, practice and practice seeing right is very important. In fly fishing, most people, they practice this with a hoop. But in saltwater fly fishing, we know that the, the hoop kind of makes you catch right on top of the fish and doesn't doesn't really do it. I got a little device that, that that you could make real easy with a piece of cardboard and some string that will actually make you cast in in the fish's uh, strike zone and, and instead of casting on top of the fish. I'll show you how that works. Okay, these are stuff that you're going to need. Some bright colored string, some scissors, piece of cardboard. Don't worry about the arrow. I just killed that. Open your, card open your cardboard up. And what you want to do is you want to cut it into a shape of a fish. Nothing super fancy. I guess you want a, a thick end on one side. And then a thin end on the other. Just like this. You have to remember that when you're in the water, you're not seeing all this fish's detail and all the little fins and and the gills and and the eyes. All you're seeing is a suggestion or a silhouette. That might be the only thing you're seeing of a fish. A shadow, a silhouette, something that is indicating that there's a fish there. Something, something like that. Then with the string, you're going to cut the string into three lengths, about six feet, and you're going to tie, tie them up to the front end. Put that in there, in the front end. And then, you're going to have your target. All right. Well, this is what you want to do. You want to put your cardboard fish down, then you're going to get one string goes that way, the other string goes at a 90 degree direction this way, and then the other string goes across the other way. Basically, that would be the target. What you're trying to do is you're not trying to aim at the target. You're trying to aim at these these triangle sections over here, because that's where the fish is at. If you're casting from this direction, you want to be right here in this area between these lines here. Now, if your fly line, if your fly goes to the other side of this line, you're bringing that fly towards that fish, and those fishes do not like that at all. So. If, so if I'm casting from this direction, I actually want to cast right here in this triangle. Now if I cast the, in front of him, I want to get that fly right about here, you see? And then if I cast to the other side, I can get that fly right about here. Pattern that, and that's you know, it. Just to get an old fly, get yourself some cutters. And just You could snip it off. Then you don't have to worry about hooking yourself or your buddy or just hooking stuff on the ground here. Another thing you want to do is when you use the, your fly line, make sure you use the old fly line, you know, an old fly line that you don't use that much anymore or, uh, or a fly line because you don't want to use your good fly line on this or you'll ruin your fly line on your, if you do it on the dirt or on concrete or anything like that. Remember, don't shoot your fly line towards the ground. Shoot like you're shooting towards the horizon. The fly line will straighten up and then the fly will gently fall down to the ground. That's how it works. So I was practicing trying to get, get my shots right around here. Right about here is a good shot, but that fish is coming towards this way. So, you know, that's where you want to put your shots over here when you're that way. Now, if I turn around and go the other way, it'd be the opposite. Now, if I'm in front, I could go in front. There. That's a good shot there. Good shot there. There, there good shot there. I'm trying to get right into that triangle here, right about there, perfect. Or you could get even further away about there, and give you time to uh, wait until the fish comes in. See, I'll be a little bit close. Right about there is good. 
But if you go right there on top, behind that fish there, nope, see? That right there, that fish would be gone. Let's try a different angle here. So, if you're practicing in a park, out in the country, or in a multi-level parking garage in the city, practicing is fun, relaxing, and it will get you ready for that fish of a lifetime comes your way.